Oh, hi then guys. And uh, just a little quick show of uh, a knife I've just uh, finished. I've um, been uh, designing it for a while now. Um, although I have been using it, it's that new. I haven't even, not, the sheath, the sheath is actually still on the drying rack. So it's <laughs> pretty new, but I couldn't resist starting to use it. Just waiting for the sheath to settle. But uh, yeah, the sheath, same as always, I've just done a, just your, your standard pouch sheath. So, but uh, yeah, as always, very happy, constantly improving, constantly getting better. But basically, my remit from quite a while ago was I took all the, took every knife I had, nearly, um, and when I'm saying about a knife, I just mean all the average, your belt size knife, your four to six inch type of thing, and a couple of others, and I did quite a bit of um, work with them all, tried just oh, different ones for different tasks and see how they went. Um, as I've said, I think on a couple of posts I put on like Instagram, um, Facebook type of thing. Um, the reality is, I think at the end of the day, it, it's far more important the person using the knife and the skill they have than the actual knife. That came through, and the more that I did, the better I got with different things. So the better I got able to find out the way to get the best out of each particular knife. So um, that was pretty good. But it also gave me some of the things that I wanted to look at when I designed a knife. Um, now this is my version, it's what I'm calling my um, one knife option. Nicked a bit of an idea from Dave Canterbury there, but notice I said one knife, this is not a one tool option. This is very much, um, and I'll show you here, I'm just show you this, this is basically the size, you've got, it's a five inch blade, and about a 120 handle, so a little bit longer on the handle, to give you people an idea, a little bit longer handle the wood law, and just a bit of a longer blade, another 15 mil on the blade, another 10, just over 10 mil on the handle. So it's very much a belt knife. It, it's not designed as a, you know, as, as anything bigger for chopping or anything like that. Whereas some of the knives he has are actually much bigger, much more substantial. So, but I wanted something that would do all the different chores I've got. And that came from the fact that I love the wood law. I make no doubt about it. I think that's an awesome design, awesome build. There's some great knives out there. Um, and I love them. I've carried them for years. I've made them for years. Um, but there, there's a lot of things that they're not great at. And, but like I said, they will do anything, just like any other knife will. So, you know, I'm not knocking that way. Just some things that I wanted to tweak myself, some things that I felt weren't quite right. So that's why I tried using all sorts of different knives and comparing them against each other. Now, I'll just give you a little show. Now, basically, what I've done, what I've come up with, is, and what, I, what I'll sort of like, things I'll say is, obviously they've, they've all different, um, different benefits, pros and cons, whether you're using like a little two mil Mora or a, you know, the four mil Woodlaw or, you know, that, those sorts of clones or whatever. Now, this is built with a five mil stock. However, I've gone to a two mil, just over a two mil tang. And from the five mil, I put a distal taper on at the tip to um, two and a half mil. I then put a 26 degree bevel on. So as, as you can actually see, although it's starting to patina already, but as you can see, the different height of the bevel and that's purely because of the different thickness of the stock. Now the handle, one of the comfiest handles I found of all the knives and all the stuff I did was actually for and what I'm talking about is lots and lots of different tasks. So this is I wanted something that would lend itself to just about everything I did. That's the whole point of the one knife option. Everything from um, buttering my bread, um, peeling veggies, cleaning game, whittling, splitting, carving, all that kind of stuff. You know nothing nothing one to one. I mean obviously a knife this is well capable of being used as a survival type tool um, because it's bloody robust. Um, however, the comfiest handle I found overall for all lots of different chores was actually an Opinel, which are more, they're more going towards round than oval, whereas a lot of the wood law and the clones of that and a lot of those type knives are going more oval than round. And that also gives a definite bias in certain grips. Now, I, though I don't have one to try, I do remember something that started me thinking was, I think, I think Dave Canterbury, some of the lines he has out, he describes them as a broom handle knife. And a lot of the guys, and I've watched the reviews of those and the long-term reviews, and they actually say you first pick it up and it feels funny because it's not the same as what you're used to. But the more you use it in the more different sorts of grips, um, the more you start to appreciate how it actually lends itself to much, to being more comfortable in more varied grips. So this one has actually gone like as it's quite a bit thicker. I've gone a little bit thicker, not massively. The, the thickness at the back is about 26 mil and just over 20 mil at the front. So you've got that extra three or four mil, and it, that just definitely gives it more of that oval feel. 
Um, I've still gone for a Coke bottle because I love that feel. I just think it fits the hand, it feels the hand, it, it feels very comfortable and secure. You can get the, the way the fingers grip into it. Although I've gone for a slightly simpler design here. Again, I just found it just felt more natural. That's all it was. Just what I feel. This is, and again, I do stress this is what I think, what I feel. This is the knife that I built along the lines of something I wanted to see. Um, and then, like I say, the, the length, I just felt sometimes with the Woodlaw, it, was, it wasn't quite short enough to be a real small whittler, but it wasn't quite big enough to be a bit of a bigger knife. Um, and also, when I've used it and I've cleaned game with it, it's just a little bit short for reaming and bleeding and things like that. Just a little bit, but it, it just didn't quite... Some of the other knives that I did, did a better job, and that's what I was looking at. Which knives that I was looking at did a better job, or felt more comfortable, and that's basically what I've gone with. Um, would I change anything? I don't know. I've only just started using it. I've cleaned some fish. Um, I've done a bit of uh, cooking with it. Um, I've just finished polishing a trout. I'll put a video out of all the little bits of things that, that I'm doing with the knife. Up to press, it's performing really, really well. Um, you know, no doubt people say, oh, why should I buy whatever? You know, at the end of the day, if you don't need a knife, you certainly don't need this one. You know, um, however, I do think there are some unique features on this particular knife. You're not going to buy, you'd never get from a shop. There's no way you're going to go into a shop and get uh, distal tapers and tapered tangs. You've got to go to a knife maker to get those kind of things. And I haven't seen anything like this. Um, the other thing is that the actual, the, the stock I used here was um, 25 mil, whereas the Woodlaw is 30, or the older version was slightly larger, depending on when it went from sort of uh, um, the inches to mils. Um, but this is actually 25, so that the actual blade width here is about 23 mil, just over, just under 23, 22 to 23 mil. And again, what I found was when I was using the knives, I found that the um, the mora, the thickness of the mora, lent itself much more to sort of you know smaller car, you know, well variety of carving tasks, food preparation work, and things like that. So that's that's why it's actually gone a little bit thinner. Just didn't I couldn't find. None, there weren't any of the knives which were actually deeper which gave me any benefit apart from the only thing you could do is if you were truncating a piece of wood you could batten through a thicker piece of wood but I've actually don't tend to batten through 20 mil thick pieces of wood to tr truncate them anyway I would just either saw them or but you could if you had to but again you'd get so far down and people say oh you, you know you, you're getting it so far down and then you know you can't batten it any further well it's just like battening a thick piece of wood when it gets so far down you batten it either side don't you so you know, there's pros and cons to everything. Um, but that was the rationale behind this. It's just something that I love doing, is tweaking and playing. Um, and I've really enjoyed the journey. And up to press, I'm really enjoying the results. Like I say, this is a knife I've not seen anywhere else. I've not seen anybody make one of these dimensions, of this style, with the combination of different styles from, you know, the influences from so many different knives. And, you know, different knives and styles. And that's where, like I say, like people do the, the 4mm, definitely splits better than a 2mm blade. Oh, I've got 5mm, and all, you know, halfway down, you're still at 4mm before you get to sort of like, well, 5 was just under 4 and then 2.5 for the tip. So, yeah, well, I hope that was reasonably interesting, my ramble on where I've got to. <laughs> get a bit of an insight into how my brain works. Um, but yeah, we'll keep on testing it and keep on doing it, and then I'll put a little video up and I'll try and obviously edit things too, so it could be a bit boring. Uh, but just of, of the knife in use, and then what my longer term findings are. So, with that, thank you for watching, guys. I hope that's interesting. Hope you look forward to the next instalment of the knife in use. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Hey, Ben? Yes? Good boy.